Hey guys, how we doing? Vinny Pesese here uh, with Realty One Group, and I am here with the one and only Michael Novak. Guaranteed rate. Great. All right. So um, I want to get Mike together real quick for a really quick video, uh, but it's more like state of the mortgage business and state of the market, I think, overall. Um, yeah. I think the questions that we get all the time are just like, what's going on? Rates keep climbing. Yep. There's a lot of stuff involved there. I printed up some questions and, you know, so I'm not gonna pretend like I'm asking these, like, you know, I'm, I'm Barbara Walters over here, but I'll, I'll read them so- She prepares too, Vinny. She does, she does, you're right. But she memorizes, I don't, I just hold my paper up. So, my first question is the market overview. Like, yeah. what, what are you seeing in the region? What are you seeing nationally? What, what you know, what's, what's going on? Okay, well, I don't think there's any difference really between what's going on in our region and, and what's going on nationally. I mean, rates are rising everywhere. Right. Uh, the Fed's combating infl inflation, doing everything it can to, to uh, bring inflation in check. And, and until that, until they feel comfortable with where they're at, um, we're going to see higher for longer. Is it, is it pushback though from like, from, from, you know, not just like the consumers, but from government, are they saying like, yeah, maybe we're getting to the point where we're hurting well, the, a lot of other things? A little bit. Yes. Because the, the Fed's goal is, stated goal is 2% inflation. Yeah. Um, some people think that maybe that might be a little too aggressive. So maybe like, well, hey, when we get it to three percent or two and a half, and then maybe we can pull back. But um, they they seem to be pretty intent on their two percent inflation number. So gotcha. Um, so right now, what's what's happening? Obviously, where the rates are, and would it be fair to say a thirty year fixed rates right around eight percent? Right around eight percent. Yeah. And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it continued to go a little bit higher. And so just for people who haven't following this, so like say you know. Beginning of this year, they were about six and a half, maybe. Right. Okay. So, so point and a half up. So, people's borrowing power, affordability, is, is really extremely diminished. Yeah, and and, and I, I read something the other day where someone maybe in the beginning of this year, early last year, could if they were affording five hundred thousand dollars now, what they could afford is three hundred fifty. So, unless they're making that much more money, which they're not. I mean, maybe they are, but there, no one is making as much as this. This rates are climbing. Right. Yeah. You're. You're. Uh, ability to purchase um, is not um, growing as quickly as the as the cost of home. Yeah. So from a real estate perspective, it's what it's doing is it's it's still hurting our inventory issues because right. most people who refinanced two three years ago, no reason to sell. Yeah. And then obviously buyers now get to the point where they're like, I can't afford this. Right. Eighty percent of mortgages right now are under four percent, are four percent or under. That's um, crazy. So you know people look at their value proposition between moving and staying and you know they're deciding to stay. So um, any solutions? So from, from your perspective, somebody's looking to buy, like I know um, what what are some creative things that you guys are looking at as guaranteed rate or anything that you're kind of I mean the buy down options are still on the table. Yeah. I mean especially three two one buy down options um, with the Fed saying higher for longer, you know so three two one explain that so explain three two one buy down would be um, the first year your mortgage rate would be three percent less than your locked rate um, after two, after so it's like eight percent would be at five percent sure. on the second year uh, eight percent would go to six percent and on the, the third year it would be seven percent and then after the third year it would go back to eight percent with the goal the stated goal is hopefully that that at that point you would be able to refinance somewhere in between um, and you would actually um, there's that no risk to the buyer. Um, from losing any money um, by refinancing. Is there is there a cost to do that? Buy comes to you. Uh, well, usually it's done through sell, a seller concession. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's something that in the real estate world we negotiate that if we can. If we not, it's you know we just try to figure it out one way or the other. But but it but you know tactics from both the real estate industry and, and the mortgage industry are kind of working together to kind of at least guide people through this right now because it is yeah, challenging. And keep buyers in the in the market. Um, Cool. I mean, I you know I had other questions. I think we whipped through a lot of good ones. Anything else you'd want to say? You know, I know obviously like you know credit requirements or anything still. So there's been no new credit requirements, um, but there was a new underwriting guideline that came out that I found very interesting. Um, starting next month, um, people who want to live in a multifamily home, they can uh, the the down payment went down to five percent. So it used to be, if you wanted to live in a two family, it was a 15% down payment and a three or four was 25% down payment. Now it's only 5%. That's great. So that's creating, that could create a lot of uh, buyers. And plus you could always use the, the um, perceived income from those two other two units or the other unit that you buy uh, to help you qualify. So um, it does negate some of the interest rate um, increases. Something positive. Something positive. Right? <laughs> well, I think, so. like I said, I want to keep this under five minutes. We're at five minutes. Uh, Mike, really appreciate it, you guys. Have questions on the mortgage yeah. business. 
reach out to my man, Mike, and otherwise, peace.